well. Welcome back, Adventure Bros and Adventure Sisters. I don't know. We gotta figure out one for you girls, cause you's, you're still bros. I'm a bro. She's a bro. He's a bro. We're all bros. We are at my alma mater, U of H, University of Houston, and we are doing some urban fishing at Braves Bayou. I'm going to show you where we're going, and hopefully today we can catch a catfish, catch a gar, catch something. Something, catching something is better than catching nothing at all day, at all times, all days. So, let's see what we can get. Some, you know, country fishing as you would call it, or as I would call it, where going for catfish, going for gar, going for anything else that'll bite, which is probably going to be a catfish or a gar. We just had a big gar hit the surface just a minute ago, and she's over there trying to catch us a perch so that we can use it for gar bait. We'll see what we can do. Well guys, there was no action here, so we're gonna head to another spot really quick. See you back. And we are downtown Houston, under this bridge, by UHD, and we're gonna throw some shad out, throw some shrimp out, hopefully catch a cigar, catch a couple of catfish. Just do something, man. Before this storm comes in, we're gonna try and catch some fish. All right, bros, I've just caught two tasty little morsels. And I'm about to put them on there. These are what you want. Two little mullet. Let's see what happens. It is though. What, what it is, what is this? Come on. Oh, it's a gar. It's a gar. It's a gar. Look at it. Here we go. We're on. And this is not what I need to be catching this on. This is not what I need to be catching this on at all. Because I cannot flip this in. Here. Let's see if we can get them over here. All right, guys, we're doing some urban fishing. Oh, he broke off. OK. He broke. <laughs> I do not need to be catching that on this pole. Oh man, that was a, a small gar, like a two foot, it was a spotted gar, but almost lost that pole. He just cut the line, there's no leader on here. We're just having fun. But at least you guys got to see a good sight. Here we go to the next one. I think it just picked my, my mullet up. Let's back it up. Yep, yep. I think we're on. I think so. I think so, it feels like it. I'm trying to let him run with it a little bit. Make sure it gets it. Yeah, we just can't slack. Gotta see if he straightens it out again. Yep, you see he's straightening it out, he's messing with it. Something's messing with it for sure. He's not on there though. Oh yeah he is. Mm. It's another goat. It's a baby car. Flip him. Nope, we're not gonna flip him. He's 
see he still got it in his mouth? Watch this. He's still on top of the surface. You think I can get him? Wouldn't hurt to try. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. I think he's gone now. See, but that's the thing with him. You gotta let him swallow. definitely had it and he came all the way up to the surface guys that's the second guard in a row that we've missed well we didn't really miss it it got to the surface he was never set on the hook he just had it in his mouth we're gonna get another one well bros that's it we're gonna get our butts in the house and hunker down for this storm it's just real windy right now we had one guard that we brought in and it broke off right at the edge we had another guard that we brought in and it wasn't even hooked it just had the bait in its mouth and I tried to flip it and the hook came from being hooked on the bait and the guard just swam off so we were out here we caught two fish those are two new spots you can try in Houston and if you see me at the spot like all these other people who were down here did just give me a shout out that's all I ask be sure to like comment share smash the subscribe button I appreciate all of you for tuning in and be on the lookout for more great fishing content on the adventure bro show thanks for tuning in